All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to uh, create a Google form, add different question types, and even also add a YouTube video. So to do so, um, there's a variety of ways you can do it. You can open a tab and start, go to forms.google.com, or you can simply open up your drive and create one directly from InDrive using the new button. Here to more and Google Forms. So the first thing uh, you're probably gonna want to do with your form is go ahead and give it a title. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this sample form. Oops. And that's the uh, title is going to see on the form, but if I click up here, it'll officially title the file itself. So first thing you're going to want to do is your first question. So, so I'm going to start off with a multiple choice question. Let's see. Okay. And you can add, a, add a another choice by simply hitting enter. I'm leave it there for. And I like to, uh, again, if I click here, required means the person filling the form cannot submit until they actually uh, uh, answer this question. Uh, working with students, a lot of times you, are, you might want to make that. Again, at your discretion if you want to make it required. Um, cool little feature <coughs> right here is two copies of what I'm going to make a similar question next. Uh, that's maybe it's multiple choice. Um, and it had maybe have some of the same choices. I can hit duplicate and it'll pretty much just copy it, make a total copy of it, but I can edit it at my leisure. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the add question button. And I'm going to have a different kind of question. So <clears throat> I would ask a question, a sample question like this um, please state your first, middle, and last name. This uh, type of question, again, Google has already kind of anticipated this would be a good for a short answer text, which is what I would have chosen automatically. So when they, uh, when the person fills this out, they'll actually type in their first, middle, and last name. Next one we'll do is a paragraph text. <clears throat> so, the Life story, kind of facetious here, but again, Google anticipated it. This would be a long text. So when they work on the form, it's going to be a bigger area for them to type. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna make it required. I like, kind of like to do that. Uh, so those are just three simple per, um, question types. If you click here, it gives you a variety of here. If you draw check boxes where they can do multiple, <clears throat> they can select multiple uh, answers. Um, drop down is another kind of a uh, way to do multiple choice. Um, you can do where they have to upload a file from Google Drive, um, a variety of things. So um, these are the three main ones that you'll have to, you, you will see though on the uh, Google Certified Educator Level 1 exam. But they will also expect you to know how to um, embed a YouTube video. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a YouTube video simply by clicking Add Video. And just like you can with um, with Google Slides, you can you can uh, do a search right here, or if you have the URL already uh, copied, you can paste it right here. I'm gonna do a quick quick uh, search right here. And I'm just gonna choose this one right here. And <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a title. what I'm going to do, I want this to go for the first question. So I'm going to rearrange it. So pretty much what's going to happen, students will have to watch this video in order to answer this first question. So just a couple of quick little things that you'll have to know how to do when you take the Google Certified Educator Level 1 exam. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section, send me an email, or message me on Google Hangouts.